if you look at the let's call it patient's journey, right? How do they get from those typically from those symptoms or indicators all the way to you where you are where we do the uh reversal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the you, you, let's just say, you know, I uh, go to the grocery store on a regular basis. I always forget. I always can't remember where I park. What is typically the next step after that? Is it me that realizes that? Is it essentially my loved one is surrounding or caregiver? We're like, hey, um, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, yep. and what's what are the next step until they get to you? Yeah, that's no very, very good question. An important one, too. So it's typically the caregiver. Typically, the caregivers that sees starts to see things out of the ordinary that the person has not historically done. There's just little nuances that you know you you notice in your loved one. Again, they'll come home and say, you know, I went to the grocery store, I couldn't find the car. Again, going into a room and forgetting what you went into the room for. Again, we I, we all do that. Uh, we're all we all live very busy lives. We're all super super. Um, you know, we're a lot of us are multitasking misplacing your phone, normal. Again, these are all things that we all do. Again, you you will pick up nuances in your loved one where this is not normal. Now, what another thing we'll see is people will deny. No, they're okay. They're not that bad. Hopefully, we hope that the loved one will say, okay, it's time to go and go see the doctor. And in an ideal setting, a doctor, a, the loved one will take the individual to a neurologist. And the neurologist will, if they are well-trained and they have an understanding of the fact that, you know, many untrained neurologists, and this is just, I'm being very transparent here, will say, you know, there's nothing we can do, get your affairs in order, and just prepare for the worst. We now know that there are a lot of things you can do for prevention if you catch it early enough. Um, Again, Dr. Bredesen has found through his 40 years in the laboratory and doing research and also as a clinical practitioner working directly with individuals, that through intervening early enough and implementing these lifestyle changes that you can absolutely reverse. Again, if it's caught early enough, if you wait too long and you're way down the line, the chances of changing some some things absolutely from a neuroplasticity, we can absolutely make improvements. For example, if an individual gets to the point where they are no longer speaking and they're in a nursing home, we've been able to bring people back to a level where they're speaking again. It doesn't mean they're not a- they're able to come out of the nursing home and start functioning normal again, but we've been able to bring people who are in nursing homes who are completely nonverbal to start speaking again and be able to engage back in like life activities. Dr. Bredesen's goal is to train as many neurologists and physicians out there to recognize that, yes, in fact, we need to screen earlier, we need to educate, we need to let people know, particularly if there's any kind of genetic risk factor, get screened, get tested, start 20 plus years. The earlier you can start, the better to get on the protocol and you you one hundred percent. You know the goal is nobody should be getting this disease. Nobody should be getting this disease. It's critically you know important to 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 just the earlier the the sooner and uh, the, the less after you are to this this horrible disease. Yeah.